Uh, what's up, guys? Shields Cap here. Welcome you to the final episode of Final Fantasy Warriors, besides, I guess, Night 6. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I did this. I figured I might as well finish it now since Five Nights at Warriors 2 is actually in development. And I'm talking so fast. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. Let's get into Night 4. Alright. So, I'm just gonna skip the phone call, because I already did it in the last episode. Now, I was gonna do full screen for this episode, just because I think that might be the only way that I can actually make it scary, but... When I do that, I'm not able to get my webcam, and I figure it's not really the same if you don't actually see my reaction, so... Because that, I have to do it like this. I'm sorry. I could probably full screen it, but then I, my webcam would still be off screen. Okay, there we go. So, I figured out the deal with Mario. He's a lot less scary than I thought. And that's why I'm just going to turn the volume down a little bit. It feels really loud. Skip you. And I'm just gonna check left. Check right. Check camera. Check right. Check left. I know there's no opportunity for me to creep myself out anymore, but considering Mario's in this night. I'm already pretty scared of Peach and of Luigi. Uh, Wario and Waluigi aren't that scary. I found out that um, the game actually uses the models from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And yeah, so um, I guess I in this video I'm gonna speculate on Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 and Final Fantasy Warriors 2. So basically, uh, he actually released the demo for, five, for uh, Final Fantasy Warriors 2. I'm not actually gonna play it. I wanna play the full game. So, I guess I'll start speculating on Finance of uh, Warriors 2 first. Uh, just because I really want to... You're fast. Alright. Let's check if you're still there. Yes, you are. Okay, it's Wario. Wario it is. Which means I need to keep an eye on that side. So how much time are you gonna spend there? It's freaking. Okay, you're still there. Good. I can open you now. Oh, wow. Oh, it's gonna check that anyway. Check you. Actually, you know what? I think I'm only gonna go into my camera when Mario starts showing up. Because I found that that obviously what'll happen. Actually, you know what? Let me just check there to advance time a little bit. Okay, 1 a.m. 52% I'd say we're fine check you how long are you gonna stay there Wario okay good we're fine hey Mario how you doing I let me be the first to say that Mario is probably like oh good you're gone get wrecked um so basically what I think is gonna happen with five minutes of Warriors 2 is that like I saw the whole generator mechanic and I think that's gonna be pretty cool and I think what it's gonna be is that like if you see an animatronic you hide in the generator room although I can't really see anything that would like I hear footsteps I don't I don't like I don't like footsteps Hey Mario, how you doing? But as I was saying, I'm not really sure what relevance um, running out of power would have. Since oh hey Waluigi, you're silent. You gonna play your song or not, bro? But yeah, Mario is basically the Golden Freddy animatronic of this game. Basically, what you do is if you see him, you put up your camera. Now, if he actually gets into the flashing phase, I'm going to shut both my doors, because when I put up my camera twice in a row, I'm not going to have time to check uh, if anybody else is there. You knew now? Oh, you stopped. Oh, good, you're backing off. Okay, good. All right. Just try not to get wrecked. Um, so, anyway. Um, ah, crap. But, as I was saying, I don't really see any relevance for running out of power. 
I mean, like, I don't see any consequence for running out of power. I mean, unless he puts, like, a foxy, like, animatronic where, like, you, um, have to look at your camera, so then you need power. And then that, that guy is, like, also, uh, smart enough to find you in your hiding spot. That'd be cool. So, close you, and you. Oh, I can see your mouth. Okay, you're done. Good. So yeah, that's basically my strategy for good for dealing with Mario, who speed which is gone for the time being. Uh, what? Oh crap. Uh, escape. I really hope that. Okay, good. Um, I keep accidentally clicking buttons since I'm so bad at using this mouse in a point-and-click game. Especially in the uh, actual Final Fantasy parties. You should you should see my attempt at um, doing the 2020-20 pattern. I mean, granted, I'm playing the demo, so there's no real consequence for like screwing it up. Oh, and speaking of which, there's a secret cheat code that I'm gonna try in uh, the Return to Freddy's later. Uh, but anyway, for Final Fantasy Freddy's 3. I'm probably the only one who thinks this, but you know that golden Bonnie animatronic? Because I don't really think that that's, like, a Bonnie, necessarily. I'll be fine if Mario gets in my room. This is an easy night. Then again, it's, I guess, night four. Like, really, any night in a Final Fantasy Freddy series is easy, unless either the difficulty is super cheap or, um, you don't know the pattern, which the pattern will actually make the difficulty, like, super freaking hard. But anyway, back to Golden Bonnie. I honestly don't think... Uh, I honestly don't think that Golden Bonnie is, well, like, Bonnie. I think it's more like some sort of mix of the animatronics. Because, like, it has Golden Freddy's design, Bonnie's ears, Foxy's teeth, I guess, and, uh, Chica's, like, the texture on Chica, like, how it's all, like, wrinkled up and stuff, so I think it's gonna be more like a mixed animatronic, personally, and I'm not really sure about the masks, I don't know what they're gonna do with the masks, but I am excited to find out, fun fact, when, um, when Final Fantasy Freddy's 3 comes out, I'm actually gonna marathon all three games back-to-back -back using the cheat, and I'm gonna use the cheat code that lets you instantly skip nights, alright, Once again, considering the U.S. Postal Service, that letter has not arrived yet. <laughs> there was no way out for you until 6 a.m. when the doors open. Yeah, both doors are heavily locked now automatically. From 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. So yeah, you pretty much gotta be there tonight. Uh, and naturally, it's only locked during my hours. So if a terrorist breaks the windows, I'm screwed. Windows that like, seem to have clocks in them. I thought those were like cracked. Oh god! No. Oh, why am I even doing anything? The second I question my life, the second I question why I'm doing this. So anyway, back to my Five Nights Party's three theory. Think Luigi's gonna instantly attack? You know, it's funny how I got exactly three and four encounters yesterday, and it was naturally night four. 
Uh, if you're wondering why it took me so long to upload this, uh, series, um, basically I spent, I got really bored of, like, playing the first three nights thinking they were too easy. Uh, cause, like, when I turned, when I, when I died, it actually reset my, uh, save file. Uh, and because of that, um, I reset my save, it reset my save file, and then I had to play back up tonight, like, four. And I got really bored of it, cause it was way too easy. And then, um, right when I finally decide that I'm just gonna, like, get to a certain point and close both my doors, since, my god, the power goes down way too slow in this game. Um, hopefully they're gonna fix that in the second game. Close you, and close you, and... You planning on attacking anytime soon? Just attack me already, you imbecile! Okay, we're done. You know what? You're already back? You know what? I'm gonna dump the old strategy, because the old strategy is gonna get me killed. I mean, I guess the game makes up for the power going down too slow by having, like, 12 a.m. be way too long. And, close the freaking door. Okay, Mario's starting to come back. No, I'm just gonna stop closing both doors and just play on. Anyway, back to Five Nights at Three. Who is there? Hello, Wario. You are not scary. The only two characters who are scary in this entire game, besides Mario. Mario's pretty scary. Uh, well, actually, you, you and you know what? Screw it. You're gone. Okay, good. You, and you didn't even... The second I say that, the literal second I say that, I'll definitely say that this game is pretty creepy. Eh. Oh, well, Luigi is the strong song, right? Wario Mason? Yep, Wario. gonna have to close both doors right now. Check you first. Oh, come on! <laughs> Finally. This is fun. Get over here already. You know what what um what WWW Wario was saying about the souls coming back to possess something the way they died. Does that imply that Mario was killed in an accident? Get over here. You're trying to creep me out by like me being all surprised when you scratch that. Nope. You turn off. You turn off! Wow, I'm so good at this game. Oh, and for the record, I already know that there's no 2020-2020 mode in this game. I'm gonna make it, I think. You know what, I really doubt that the, uh, cheat code is gonna work in this game. Cause like, oh, wait, never mind, I know it doesn't, because I know that Wario built his... Wario, WWW Wario built this game so well, he actually built the game's engine from scratch. Okay, well, I'm just gonna put you in. Whoa, that was fast. 
good. And you. You! I'm just gonna be idle. Okay, good. I'm just gonna wait for the last, next five seconds. Don't you dare make me run out of power. Anything? Nothing? Alright, well, um... Cool. Yeah, get, am I gonna, am I gonna win? Oh yeah, like a boss! 2% left! Actually, that can't be 2%. That's 1% because I have 200 total, so... Oh yeah, 1% win! Huh? And then Richard McRoy left Wario's fast food factory for good. The factory re remained closed after that day and was never opened again. And then the game faded out. End? Nope, there's a night six. Next time on Five Minutes of Wario's, we're gonna be doing night six. That makes sense. See you guys then.